Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video I like to show you this awesome website my teacher showed me. This is totally awesome. You can make your own SUSE um, operating system. Uh, what that means is you can make your own distribution of it. You, you can change the OS itself but you can change the looks of it. You can, you can include the software you want and you know, I'll just go through this. You need to go to SUSData.com, then you just sign up. It doesn't cost anything. It's completely free. It's so damn freaking easy. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, so then you just enter your name here, and then you can start. So we can do, go to software if you want, and uh, I'll, I included here uh, Mozilla Firefox and Wine and Library Office Writer. That was just for fun. Uh, you know, you can include every anything you you want. So I can search for whatever I want to. I can search for calc, and it will search. And library office calc. You can include this. Just twenty one point seven megabytes, not a lot. So it will also show you here the size of it, three hundred forty megabytes. 1.4 gig uncompressed. Of course, you need to choose before this uh, whatever 32 bit or 64 bit operating system. I'll just stick with 32 bits because they run on pretty much any computer then. And you need to go to the minimalistic OS or whatever it's called. So, I don't want to start over again because, yeah. So, after you include software, just scroll through. If you don't know some, you just look it up on Google or look what's included and what's not so and go to configuration that's more interesting stuff uh, general my user here is lol lol as you can see password is lol and uh, you can set here your keyboard lang uh, layout your language uh, I'll just do an ask and first boot um, right in Europe time zone Austria that's uh, I just set this like that. There you go to personalize. Uh, these are the standard logos. You can like go with text or series logo or nothing. I just uploaded this PC icon I found here in Icon Archive. And uh, then I uploaded the Mac OS 10 background. And these are the standard ones. They're looking, they're looking cool. You can like upload anything you want. It's, you know, doesn't matter. Uh, startup. Um, end user license agreement. Uh, I just uh, put in this stupidness here. Make it even more stupid here. That it makes makes it look longer. <laughs> you can like ride. You can use this operating system or use it with this and use it with that. But no one reads. Uh, you will, uh, you know. So yeah, I'll just I'll just call it. Don't read this crap. So, start rule run level. That's totally fine. Normal console server. Just skip this here. Desktop. Um, this is also yeah. You can just let it sit like this. Uh, disk memory. How much memory you want for operating system you need. Uh, that's actually, you know, I, it doesn't really matter at all because it kind of depends on your computer, but you can change stuff like this. I don't even know what that means, so. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a serious operating system. You can, if you want some additional software after you, like, made it and installed it, you can still do. It's like the serious operating system. It's so easy to do. And uh, scripts, that's you can just change that. Uh, what I forgot is network, you can just let it sit on this uh, normal one here. It is cover network settings automatically. Uh, that's the best thing. Linux always does that pretty good. So we can also go manually and do not and stuff. You can do a firewall, I can do that. Um, firewall is enabled but not installed so it will show you here if something is not working right just click on here and it will fix so that will take its time on my fast internet and it's installed
I'd like to remember that you're completely making this operating system in a web browser. <laughs> so, uh, you need actually, what I also forgot, you need a, a web browser that can do HTML5 because we had tried this in uh, the Internet Explorer 8 in my school and it just crashes and doesn't show anything. And when you click on something, it just locks up and crashes. So, I guess it's whatever Internet Explorer or the missing HTML5 plugin. Uh, should work on any modern browser just fine. So Chrome does everything just fine. Safari and Firefox and so stuff like this. Um, and you can go to files. Uh, files you want to be included. I can do this. Already uploaded one file, I believe. Let's upload. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Let's just upload this here. And that's ODT file, so it will be opened with uh, Rider included. So, in a build, uh, if, if something is not going right, it, it will show here and you will not be able to click this. Uh, you can do the version number, I'll just call it version 0, 0, 0. Uh, USB stick, hard disk image, yeah. You have like an old computer which doesn't boot from uh, USB. You can do live CD, uh, but I will just stick with USB because it's a lot more easier. And you can use the SUSE in uh, SUSE, uh, it's called SUSE USB thing <laughs> uh, to like make this bootable. So yeah, and I will just stick with additional formats too because I want to have a live CD uh, ISO file too. So. You can also share it uh, with uh, an email, so I believe, or whatever. No, not even. I've never done that before. So then you just click on build, and that will take a little time to come on. And there you go. Please wait. Your build will start soon. And there you go. It's building. So now it's downloading some stuff. So. After this, you will uh, be able to download this file and put it in your computer or and just boot off of it or can you run it virtually, of course, it doesn't matter. So, it's a pretty awesome website. So, I hope you like this and I'll see you in the next video.